Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the article is going to be in the description for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying your day out there, guys. The article is from Wrestling inc.com i got the article in the description for you guys and please like today's episode guys this is going to be an awesome episode for you guys so give it a thumbs up now i have some back there were some backstage plans for wwe wrestlemania 32 on sting triple h and the undertaker versus wwe superstar john cena now as of week or so there has been no real talk, internal talk, of Sting appearing on WWE's WrestleMania 32. But that does not necessarily necessarily mean that he will he won't be there. Maybe he's gonna go into the WWE in the to the WWE Hall of Fame next year. There has also been no talk of Sting versus The Undertaker happening. But it appears WWE is going forward with John Cena versus The Undertaker match at WrestleMania 32 as it was seriously discussed in August and then again in October. Now I love, I want to see Sting, I want to see Sting versus The Undertaker. Everybody wants to see it, you know, that's why they wanted him to come to the WWE so we can see Sting versus The Undertaker. It would be a good match, but I disagree I would want to see John Cena versus The Undertaker more because it makes more sense. It will draw more money in. John Cena is a popular guy, and Undertaker is too, and they had a long rivalry. They have a history between each other. Sting and Undertaker have no history, you know, in the WWE with each other. They don't. Cena and Undertaker have a long history between each other. That's why it would make more sense. It would make more money. It would draw more people in. A lot of people would boo Cena, and people would cheer for The Undertaker, so it makes more sense. In my opinion, though. Now, in a later note, apparently Seth Rollins vs. Triple H was never was never really considered for WrestleMania 32. Word is that this could this match could still happen down the line when Rollins returns. That's awesome. No word yet on who Triple H will be facing now that The Rock is reportedly unable to wrestle due to an insurance issue with a movie he's filming next year. I know, guys, you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about today's episode, about plans for WrestleMania, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to this show to get more wrestling content and wrestling news as well, guys. Until then, follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. The links are down below. Until then, enjoy your Thanksgiving, guys, and tune in to the next show. Subscribe.